Once upon a time, in a peaceful village nestled among towering mountains, lived a young man named Hero. He was known for his intelligence, kindness, and hard work. Hero possessed a natural charisma that drew people to him. However, there was a hindrance preventing him from achieving his true potential, a set of six habits that held him back from the respect he deserved. The first of these habits was procrastination. Hero had a tendency to delay his tasks, always believing he had plenty of time. This habit caused him to miss opportunities and leave projects unfinished. While his friends and family admired his abilities, they remained unaware of his habit of procrastination. Hero recognized that this behavior hindered his progress yet he struggled to overcome it. One day, Hiro encountered a wise Zen master named Swami who lived atop a nearby mountain. Seeking guidance, Hiro climbed the mountain to meet the master. Swami welcomed Hiro with a warm smile and invited him to share his struggles. Hiro poured out his heart, confessing his challenges with evasiveness and his desire for respect from others. Listening attentively, Swami noted that true respect was earned, not sought. He advised Hero that to gain respect, he must first learn to respect himself. This meant letting go of the habits that held him back. The master began to unveil the six habits that Hero needed to relinquish. The first habit was procrastination, which prevented Hero from seizing opportunities and hindered his growth. Swami advised him to be disciplined, take direct responsibility for his tasks, and be present in the moment. Hero nodded, feeling a spark of hope within him. Swami continued, revealing the second habit, self-doubt. The master emphasized the importance of self-belief, and having faith in one's abilities. He reminded Hero that great achievements are built one step at a time. The third habit was negative self-talk. Swami instructed Hero to be mindful of his inner dialogue as thoughts shape one's reality. He encouraged self-compassion and gratitude as antidotes to self-criticism. The fourth habit to relinquish was the fear of failure. Swami assured Hero that failure was an opportunity for growth, teaching resilience and strength. Hero felt a weight lift off him as he embraced the idea that failure was not something to fear. The fifth habit was seeking validation from others. Swami explained that true respect comes from living in line with one's values and walking one's own path. Hero learned that seeking approval externally would never lead to true self-respect. Finally, the sixth habit was the need for control. Swami shared the wisdom of embracing life's unpredictability and surrendering to the flow of the universe. Hero closed his eyes, absorbing these words, feeling a profound shift within him. Filled with gratitude, Hero thanked the Master for opening his eyes and setting him on the path of self-discovery and growth. He pledged to leave behind these six habits and embrace a life of discipline, self-belief, positivity, resilience, self-validation, and dedication. The Master smiled, his eyes filled with tears, and reminded Hero that true honor comes from aligning with one's values and becoming the best version of oneself. As Hero embarked on his journey of transformation, he practiced replacing old habits with new ones, inching closer to his true potential. He became a source of inspiration to others, mentoring those seeking guidance and exemplifying the power of leaving behind limiting habits. With each passing day, Hero's respect grew, not from seeking it, but from shading the habits that once held him back.